Hi, welcome to the studio. Um, this is um, drawing with Jesse. And I'm going to scoot this in a little bit. Okay, up there it is. And uh, we are going to draw these ducks today. I thought that'd be really fun. I hope you like it. A little bit of a change. And I might just take a minute to get situated here. Will you let me know if I'm like right in front of the camera or anything wonky like that? Roger. Thanks. And so, hi, Karis. Welcome. And anybody else, um, if you are new here, you are very welcome to make comments and ask questions. Um, I'm just going to use a regular number two pencil, school eraser, some uh, nice paper here, and um, Mark, yeah. Cars asks, is one of those ducks a chicken? <laughs> yes, yes, one of those ducks is definitely a chicken. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, this was from a really fun little field trip we took a while back, and um, and a friend had ducks, and uh, <laughs> one of the ducks was a chicken. So, totally awesome. Um, and. Okay, so you're welcome to draw just like I do or to do your own thing completely. Um, and, um, and let's see. I just thought this would be kind of a fun, loose thing to do. There's the one duck that, um, you know, you can see the whole thing. And um, so this is a great example of just a fun way to simplify we could just draw that one duck and imply the other ones we could just draw any of these ducks actually and just gonna map in kind of how big i want this duck to be i don't want it off my page i kind of like how it's situated on the left in the photograph and So I'm just lightly mapping in here. And as always, please let me know if my pencil is too light and not showing up or um, any other weirdness if, if I'm way too loud or anything else. And, and also um, let me know if you're also drawing today. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to find a, uh, a pencil and paper in case anybody needs a minute for that. And, um, and in the meantime, um, in case I haven't introduced myself to you yet, I'm Jesse Rashi. I'm a South Dakota artist. And um, I, I mostly paint... Um, landscapes with a lot of animals in them and um, portraits of children and families. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let me know if, um, like I said, let me know if you have any questions or need more time for anything at all. And So I'm just kind of mapping in where I want the top of this duck to be, uh, where I want the bottom of the duck to be, and I'm plunking it kind of in the middle on the left, and um, and um, 
Yeah, really, this guy can go anywhere. Um, and his neck looks just a little bit shorter than his body. And as always, if I am misgendering the uh, duck here, please let me know. <laughs> I, uh, I love the ducks, but I don't really know enough about them to know if uh, if this is a dude or not. So I just kind of default to um, calling it a guy. So back here, this is kind of fun. The duck behind is um, making it a little bit harder to see where the edge of this duck is. And I think that's kind of cool. And so maybe need to get that guy in there. And so I'm still kind of blacking in the edges. Um, kind of see how big this beak is. And black that in and the eye is one of his few features kind of put that in with the squiggle and this duck does have some shadows um, it's kind of hard to see um, let me know if you can see those shadows okay on your monitor but right under the face, back to here, there's a shadow. And then we have, once we decide where the shadow goes, we have some fun options for, um, you know, we could do hash marks in here. We could just, um, we could sand down the edge of our pencil so it's flat and just fill it in with um, solid color. Um, we'll do some fun vertical hashing, which, <laughs> uh, you know, I actually only recently have tried out and it, it is pretty fun. So I'm gonna do some fun vertical hashing right in here, just little lines and then little lines out here. So it looks to me like right under the face, it's just a teeny bit darker. I'm coming right up here. And then from the eye back, there's just the lightest little shadow. Just some little hash marks in there. And Let's see. I'll get this a little closer. And camera two. And let me know if you guys can see okay. Um, yeah. Our opening was a little shot. Oh, okay. There we go. Get closer. And now I'm done. Card says when Buck was aired a while ago. Right on. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I still need to do that. Okay. So, it's very dangerous drinking out of a uh, mason jar <laughs> in this studio. More so when I use water soluble paint, I tend to dip my brushes right in there and I know you guys have mentioned that you do that sometimes too. Um, <laughs> or, or somebody who's watching had also mentioned that. And uh, just kind of a hazard. Especially coffee mugs for some reason. Coffee mugs really just attract the paintbrushes for dipping. Okay. And I'm going to do some measuring with my 
pencil and um, yeah so the head and the beak are pretty similar width that's in measuring that way this line is really important to be in the right place so Uh, just kind of a double check here. And this is always a gamble. <laughs> it is always a gamble. Uh, I don't know why for some reason I um I don't tend to dunk my paintbrushes. Well, I quit using um, mediums or, or um, uh, like OMS for my paint. And so I'm not in quite as bad of a habit with dipping brushes, <laughs> but uh, for oil paint, but boy, for uh, when I use acrylics, <laughs> I really do dip them in whatever I'm drinking. <laughs> Uh, well, so I want a finer point. My my pencil marks aren't showing up in quite the right place, and so I'm just carefully getting myself a better point here. And I think it's just good to notice, like when when you feel like you're not getting what you expected, it's probably not you. It's probably your pencil needs to go through the sharpener. And so I'm going to give some hash marks to these, this beak. So there's this very faint um, highlight on his chest, and then back here between the feathers, there's this very faint little shadow. And um, there's something so beautiful about a subtle shadow. I'm just going to lightly get that in there and then um, the shadow under the body. So this is sort of uh, like the watercolor technique of, you know, uh, outlining the value area with the pencil and then um, and then attaching the value afterwards and and so there's the these really nice subtle little shadows right there And I think since it's such a light bird and the shadows are so um, subtle, um, I like them pretty light like that. And And then you know, race back into some of this. You want to just grab out a bucket? Okay, we don't have to do that. 
We uh, <laughs> just came back from the store and uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's there's candy involved in this whole process here. <sighs> And there we go. So what do you guys think? Do you do you want to get the rest of the ducks in there or have them implied a little bit or focus more on this main duck let me know i think either way could be just lovely and i'm kind of erasing into the hash marks to make some beautiful lines here some beautiful edges and subtlety and So has anybody said if they want to do more ducks or um, like kind of focus on this guy a little bit more? No. Okay, let's see. I'll give it one more minute and then I'll uh, decide here. Oh, okay. Um, thanks for the like. I appreciate it. And uh, Carl says, I feel like including most of them, although I'm not sure how many are hidden in the grass. <laughs> right. Well, I think that's a fun thing. That means we get to just um, decide what we want. Um, so this part down here is hard to really see. And so I'm just going to go for that and just darken it in a little bit. Just that one leg comes forward and then, and then what? I don't know. So. So. <laughs> this fun chicken guy. Let's see. Uh. Chicken gal, probably. Here we go. Um, so. Uh, Carter says it looks like there are some stealth ducks on the right of the bridge. Oh, it does. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yes, it does. And there's this guy right here that's sort of itching. <laughs> um, and so it's a, a neat gesture. Uh, let's see. So with this chicken, I'm just kind of measuring over, you know, somewhere around the top of the duck's chest. I'll put the top of its head. And um, it's kind of shaped like a bowling pin here. The bottom of its body is a little bit lower than the feet over here. Put that right there. And just get the general shape. So drawing kind of a diamond down here. Very much a bowling pin shape. And I like that it's slightly asymmetrical. There's um, almost like a gesture to its hips. 
Let's get this little leg coming out this way. And then this back leg kind of swooping in. Uh, it looks a little bit like the high heeled walk. Yeah. And then there's this rounded part of the chest on the right. And the neck. It's behind the grasses a teeny bit right here, but it looks like the neck comes in this way a little bit. And then over here, it's like some very blending in type of tail feathers. So let's see. So I'm just going to adjust a little bit here until it feels right. There's dark grasses behind here that help it blend in a little bit. And um, since I can't completely see what's happening right here, and the values are really similar between the grass and the chicken, I'm going to darken up the grasses and um, draw the sort of ambiguous quality that I'm seeing. And um, you are, are welcome, though, to, um, you know, if I wanted to draw this very specifically, I might... Um, look up other photos of chickens and just find a chicken in a similar position. Here, I'm going to correct my proportions a little bit. Here. So it's got these Let's see, so the neck area seems to come all the way down here. And I think the head needs to come down just a smidge in my drawing. And This little face and this little teeny beak. And then, let's see. And the neck comes down like that. And then I'm just seeing a teeny bit of tail feathers coming out from this side. Um, they're a little blurry, like maybe it was wiggling its tail feathers when I snapped the photo. Let's see. And so <laughs> this is, uh, you know, this is sort of the difference between using a um, professional photographer's photo like last week and using a very non-professional photographer, um, you know, where I just snap pictures of awesome stuff I want to draw or paint years later. Um, and there's a lot less information um, but, uh, you know, there's still something here that is like, oh yeah, that's, that's what was really interesting. and. God, these guys have a lot of personality and okay. So let's see. This leg seems like it's part of this gesture. It comes down and and goes out a little bit like that. And then And then this leg right behind, and then going out with this. 
square at the bottom there. And then the grass is a bit kind of covered up. So this whole chicken is pretty dark. I'm going to give it one layer of hash marks. And then find the parts that are darker, like this eye and the beak, and give that a second layer of darker hash marks. And there's a little bit of a the feather is kind of popping forward right here. And it's right up in the <laughs> grasses. So some of this is just kind of guessing and speculating. Um, and then there's a little bit darker area here. So I'm marking off the highlighted area, this sort of mid-tone on his cheek, or her, her cheek, excuse me. And then Along the edge, I'm going to just add some uh, wiggly lines to kind of show the quality of the feathers. And so let's see. And then over here, this is the part I really can't see. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll let it disappear into the paper. And over here, though, there's this great quality to the feathers where it's just so irregular. And then this little area around the leg. And there's this little shadow right here. I'll darken that up quite a bit. And the neat thing that's happening is, you know, we're ending up with this contrast between the lightness of the duck and the darkness of the chicken. And Give it a little bit more of some fun little feathers in here. Fun little feathers back there. And I don't really know what's happening back here, but it seems like there's some little tail feathers sticking out. So I'm going for that. And, and then, um, so this is a good point to just look and see, are there other parts that are much darker? Oh, are we still connected? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. I was running a test message to see if my thing was working as well as I think it is. It just works so much better when you <laughs> instead of like yeah, your proximity helps. Yeah. That's nice to me. yeah. And so let's see. I think something's kind of weird. I'm going to bring this area forward a teeny bit. Yeah. Just to separate that a little bit. Okay, so I have kind of a funny looking chicken here. Um, I'm gonna leave it be for a little while and um, <laughs> see about getting some of the other ducks in. Um, let me know how your how your ducks and chickens are are turning out. Okay. 
and here I'm just not happy with this edge so I'm going to let it blend into the background a little bit and just see what happens um, And let's see, and I think bringing this leg back would make more sense of it. Come to the test back. Test back. And there we go. So that helped a lot. The the proportions over here were feeling weird because the leg was too far to the right. And so and then back here. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. There we go. And let's see. So there's all these other ducks. Some of them are really interesting. They have some of them are white and then some of them are black and white spotted. And I think we could just do some loose um, you know, just some circles, uh, some, some ovals back here. And, um, let me know what you think. So, let's see. So this one is, uh, kind of big oval shape. And, and so for this, I'm just going to get the oval in there and then put the legs where they need to go rather than trying to force them into, um, this area. And I think the legs are kind of what I was seeing right here with these feathers. So, um, you know, I'm going to be true to the proportions of the bird rather than kind of the space I've given it. Um, and so this is a really fun gesture and it's just another oval here and hi, hi welcome back <laughs> and and then there's a shadow right here and then the part that gets really fun I think the car says oh yes any chance we can get the photo to continue working after the stream Absolutely. I'm, not saying I'm slower over here, but yeah, I'm slow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, absolutely. Um, and so I will put it up on my website. Uh, there's a page where I'm putting all the things. If anybody ever says they want a photo or if they want to know where a photo came from or anything else, um, I'm putting it on um, jessierashi.com uh, in the, um, I think it, I have a tab called learn to paint or something like that. And, um, and I will also, um, put a link to make it really easy. Um, in the description, it usually takes me about five minutes after, um, after I log off to get the link there. Um, I'm but checking absolutely. I'm checking how to actually find it. So. Sorry for that. Oh, no worries. 
So you go to jessierasher.com, click on menu, learn to paint. Yeah, and uh, it's in the drawing class one, or it's drawing lessons. Learn to paint, sidebar, got it. Um, then it's um, then there's free drawing class. That's the one. Add to cart. Yeah. Well, you don't have to add it to. And then you I mean, click on that. Yeah. But it should just there should just be. Download some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Downloads and stuff. That's that's it. So. Yeah, there isn't any. I mean, yeah, I don't know how to remove course, the add to cart, but Carson, thanks so much. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and um, yeah. So I'm just getting a little bit of that shadow and on the chest, and then there's this other wing that's. I'm up and about here. And since what's so lovely about this grouping is um, like the values that the chicken is so much is just like a little bit darker than the ground and then uh, the ducks are so much lighter. I think this might be a good a good opportunity to get in some background value. This is this neck is so interesting. I think this could be, um, you know, as much or as little information as you want right here. <laughs> this bent neck and. I'm just trying to sort out exactly what this bird is doing and um you know, to make it a little bit easier to to get this gesture in here. Um, and that would be right uh, back behind the chicken. So I'm just going to ignore that and put in some of the shadow underneath. And I think this shadow is nice and helpful. And I'm just doing vertical hash marks. Um, because right now I think that's really, really fun. Um, you are welcome to do your drag in this way or any other way that you find um, fun. And so up here there's these little uh, feathers that are kind of sticking up this way and that way and I think that's pretty neat where it's a little bit smoother towards the top so you have the the pencil marks kind of show that a little bit a little bit of craziness here And, and then this guy, I really want the value on the chicken to be darker than the shadows of the ducks. So I'm going to darken this in a little bit where they overlap and make sure um, you know, that that distinction is visible. And
Okay, and then there's some shadow behind this duck that, or um, the chicken that makes its legs stand out. Get some of that in there. And there we go. And so you can see that when I erase, I erase along with my pencil marks. So it, um, it's just another tool to make the, the kind of marks I want. And, okay, let's get some more of these guys. Make his neck a little bigger. Let me see, there's, uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of them back here. And this guy right here. Let's see. This is kind of a spherical body with a little bit of an extension here. The tail feathers. It is very round here, and then this part is a little concave and then the little feathers back there and some shadow below this bird I'm just gonna lightly put that in um, to help me not get lost and so I'm being very careful not to smear this stuff with my hand I'm just holding my pinky up here to keep my hand away from